Hey, what is up you guys? We're back to do some fishing and camping. You might recognize this spot. I was here a while back uh, and there were huge boats in the water doing like construction work. They had cranes and I had to bail. Uh, today the water's looking nice and clear. We got some decent weather. Uh, I'm gonna start out throwing some spoons. So let's get to fishing and see if we can't catch something to eat. Well, hot damn, you guys. Get it? Hot damn. Sorry, it was it was too stupid. I just had to do it. Anyway, I've been throwing out all these spoons you see here for over an hour. Nary a fish, nary a bite, nary a follower. So I'm going to head down the lake a little ways and try a new spot and we'll try some new tactics and see if we can't actually get a gosh dang fish. Well, I made my way down to this dock here. Hopefully it will provide some structure that the trout will want to hide around and eat whatever I'm throwing at them. I'm going to start with uh, a little chatterbait here. Love these things. Uh, I'm going to toss around some kind of plasticky baits for a while and uh, see what happens. So, fingers crossed. A whole school bus full of children just drove by and they were all staring at me. It reminded me of that scene in, uh, in Napoleon Dynamite where the, the bus drives by and the old farmer just blasts that cow with a shotgun. Anyway, sorry, that was a really, really messed up thought, but anyway, back to fishing. Just one fish, God, that's all I ask for. I never ask for anything. Except that time I asked for a new dirt bike and a million dollars. And also that time I asked for a new forerunner and a lake full of stupid king salmon. But besides that, I never asked for anything. Just give me this one fish, God. One fish! Well, obviously it's not going real well. Look at all of this stuff that I have thrown out. I've been reeling and jigging and jigging and reeling. So under a float, I am going to toss out some of these uh, Berkeley Gulp earthworms and just have a seat, try and console myself with a PB and J. Um, a little bit of coffee. Dear baby Jesus, give me a fish. <laughs> ah, well, looks all right. It's got some kind of scent or oil on it, so let's see. Never fished with these before. See how it goes. I'm going to set my bobber stop. Oh, I don't know. Seven feet deep, something. And we're fishing. Now, if only I could catch a king salmon. There's the uh, Napoleon Dynamite school bus. <laughs> so I ended up getting absolutely no bites with the worm uh, under a float. I tied on a bunch of different spinners and absolutely no bites or fish with those. A gentleman showed up on the dock and said that he'd also got skunked on that uh, dock a few times, uh, but down the lake where I am now that he was getting into them a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna head down to the shoreline here, tie on my favorite rooster tail and make a few casts and see if I can't get something. If I can't get a fish here, we're gonna have to enact plan B, or I guess at this point we're at like plan F. So, all right, let's go make a few casts and see if we can't catch a fish. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There is a fish. A fish exists in this lake. I can't believe it. 
I've been, <laughs> I've been fishing for like seven hours. Now, this is just a little guy, so I'm probably gonna let him go, which might be a mistake, but, all right, come here, buddy. I'm after something a little, a little bigger for lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna end up keeping this guy, you guys. He got a little beat up there. He's not too bad, though. One little fish, see if we can catch another one. Sorry, bud, I was gonna let you go, but you just got too beat up. No, oh my gosh. He swam off. Okay, well, he swam off real good. <laughs> I was just about to give him the old what's for, but, uh, yeah, have a good one, man. I guess we still need lunch. So if you guys have been watching the channel for uh, any amount of time, you know that I almost always pinch my barbs because I don't like to do damage to the fish, and if I want to let him go, a pin pinched barb makes it really easy to release the fish. Uh, I forgot to pinch my barb. That's why that fish got a little bit beat up there. He did swim off uh, real vigorously. I think he's actually gonna be just fine, but I got my barbs pinched now. So if we catch any more fish we wanna let go, easy peasy, the fish won't get beat up. Now let's go catch lunch. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. I still got him? Oh no! Oh, I lost. Oh no. Oh, over the log, over the log. Oh, oh, there's one. Whoa, 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 buddy. Okay, okay. Hey, man. <laughs> All right, that was just a dinker, but he got off. Barbless hook. Don't get off. Oh, oh, okay. I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh, I gotta get him. Sure. Come here, buddy. Come here. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 God, I got him. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Stop. You're freaking out. You're freaking out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Look how beautiful that fish is. Oh, it's like a tiny steelhead. Okay, okay, okay. This guy is definitely getting eaten. <laughs> finally, finally got into a fish, landed it, and kept it. Look how shiny and healthy and beautiful this fish is, you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> I am literally like eight hours into fishing. That is such a beautiful fish. Lots of up and downs today, guys. A real emotional roller coaster, if you will. So I'm heading back to camp. I got one fish to cook up for dinner. Um, and honestly, there's not a lot I would trade that for. You know that old saying, uh, one pizza is better than not having a pizza. Um, <laughs> what does this all mean? Anyway, there, <laughs> there's, some, there's some pretty nasty weather moving in. So let's head back to camp. There's actually a small chance it might snow tonight. So let's get back, start a fire and cook some dinner. do nicely we've actually been here before uh, so like I said I've been fishing all day I'm pretty beat up so I'll, we're not gonna start any awesome fires but I'm just gonna get camp ready and I'll be back with you guys in a minute ready abra cadabra BAM <laughs> all right so fire is going obviously check this out somebody left a massive pile of dry wood uh, I always try and leave uh, firewood at camp, wherever I camp, but uh, yeah, man, that's crazy. That's a lot of firewood. Check this out, you guys. I got a new thing. So I got this new sleeping bag. It uh, fits really well in the back of the car there, and it's negative 25 degrees, so uh, it should be pretty good for winter camping. As soon as we get a bed of coals going here, throw that fish on for an appetizer and then we'll cook up actual dinner. All right, I hit that fish with some olive oil and uh, this, how do you, Tony Chacheries, Chacheries, 
Well, whatever. It's uh, it's delicious. Creole seasoning goes super great on trout. So I'm gonna throw this trout on the grill. All right, while I wait for this fish here, AKA appetizer to cook, I'm gonna get actual dinner going. Purple onions, red onions, Anaheim peppers, jalapenos, butter, and garlic salt on the fire. Now I'm gonna take this trout out of there and I'm gonna throw it right on the grill and yeah, right in the flames. Danger, Will Robinson. Hey, oh, there we go. Trout, I think, is done there. Uh, it looks a little burnt on the outside, but the inside looks perfect, even though I did kind of burn the tail off. Okay, appetizer time. When you do it in the tin foil with, with whatever, garlic salt or that Creole seasoning, it like locks in the flavor with that olive oil. And then you hit it with that, with that open flame or over the coals or something, gives it a nice fiery taste. This never works. It's never ever gonna work. Uh, anyway, beautiful, beautiful pink trout meat. It's super good. Holy cow. You can't beat that. I'm gonna chow this down. This is just a tiny snack. And then we'll keep working on dinner here. You guys guessed what we're doing yet? Oh my God, you guys, this smells so good. Okay. Oh, just beans <laughs> just spill them right in there crushed tomatoes bam crushed red pepper cumin chili powder all right well all that's left to do is simmer that for a while have a beer and hang out by the fire it's camping cheers guys All right, you guys, that is beautifully thickened up. So what we're gonna do is, ah, we're gonna take that over, set it here for the bears. <laughs> Just kidding. We are going to put a lid on that and just let it sit for a little bit and cool off and kind of mellow out and thicken up. There it is, campfire chili. And of course I got a big ass piece of sourdough to go in there. It's already kind of spicy, but everything's better with tapatio. So I'll add a little bit of that. That's really freaking good. However, now you guys know I wouldn't lie to you. It is really, really good, but it could use a little more substance, I guess. Some more beans or some, some ground beef or something. Well, hot damn, campfire chili, cast iron over the campfire. Guess I'm going vegan on this trip. Well, I did eat a fish. A vegan, it was a vegan fish though, so, you know, that counts, right? Oh man, well, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner, hang out by the campfire a little bit, I will get back with you guys momentarily. It's raining pretty good uh, at this point. So uh, I think I'm just gonna sit here by the fire for a little bit, finish my last beer and then uh, head to bed. I will catch you guys in the morning. Oh my God, the sleeping bag is so comfortable. I do not even want to get up, but uh, do you guys think that uh, Uber delivers coffee way out into the mountains? <laughs> just kidding. I don't even have Uber or, or any of those things. Uh, anyway, it's just before 6 a.m. Uh, it's just getting light out, so let's uh, break down camp and see if we can't uh, get ourselves into some coffee. Goodbye, camp. Cheers. Oh yeah, much needed. All right, well I'm heading home. That was a super fun adventure. I'll catch you guys on the next one.